Hi everyone, I am Shravan Lakshmi and welcome back to my channel Sparkling Future. Today we will see the data structures uh, like Scala map, we will discuss about Scala maps. Before starting with the today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and also please like, share, comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notifications. Thank you. So today we will see what is a Scala map. A Scala map is an iterable consists of uh, key value pairs. So a map will be like this, okay? Map of key and the value. Keys uh, should be unique. Values can have duplicate values. So how it will be considered is, if you wanted to get the value, we have to send the key as a parameter and get the value from a map. <laughs> and we can perform lookup operations, additions and updates, removal, sub-collection procedures and transformations on the maps. So let's create a Scala worksheet. Okay. So now I'll create the same map here. Okay. Map of strings. This is the symbol usually used for creating a map. Okay. So now let's get the value of apple. As I said, if you wanted a value, you have to pass the key in the parameter set. If you see here, it has returned apple. Means this is the key, this is the value. And if you notice here, uh, uh, in the map we have a key value pair, right? So you can see here scala dot collection dot immutable dot map string comma string which means that here key is a string value is a string if you have string here and int here it will say that string comma int and if you have heterogeneous data types like here itself let's say you have d to 1 and if you save it it will say string and any if you notice this change you can understand very clearly so key keys always have strings but in the values it has both strings and one integer so it will mention it as any once you understand this data type how is uh, the the scholar usually uh, takes when you send some uh, input data right so once you understand this based on that you can apply the functions programmatically when you are working in the Scala code it will be very easy to understand this concept okay for now I'll just remove it okay so this is how we will use the key to print the value of that particular key from a map and let's check whether this is there or not. Let's say here we have the keys, right? A, B, C. Let's check if C is, D is there or not. If you wanted to check some uh, value is there or not, then there is a function called contains. And we'll say D. And if you save it, it will return false because it is not there. And when you say C, it is present so it should return true if you see here true it has returned true and let's say you don't want to uh, uh, check uh, get uh, boolean uh, values you wanted to perform some action and you wanted to um, add something ca called a try catch okay in a single line we can clearly uh, we will see how to do that okay so now there is a class called util then there is a try so this statement what it does was it will check whether this key is present or not 
if this is present it will return the value if th this is not there then it will return not there or something okay what whatever string you wanted to pass it will be passed okay now let's print this banana it has printed banana let's say let's check for d then it will say not there so this contains is usually used to check for the if conditions in, in the any of the if conditions you wanted to check whether that key is present in the map then do some functionality then you can use contains but in some cases you need to print out so uh, if that is present you have to print something so instead of if is some complex uh, statement you can use this single line to do that so try if you are checking only for one key or something like this so a set of keys you can put this statement inside a for loop and you can uh, verify accordingly so this statement is like try try catch block so if d is present print it else print not there so d is not there so it has printed as not there clear right so now let's see uh, what are the available functions in map when you press control tab it will give all the details with the default value so th this one usually used for uh, providing the default value if you wanted to uh, for any any non present keys if you wanted to give any value then you can give like this if nothing is present then the default value can be given like this okay so we can use with the default value as well then next empty is just to create an empty map with the default the same we, we have anyway to map it's not required collect first is for collecting these are all very simple ones that's why i'm not explaining like in detail and uh, if you see this take uh, write and all um, right reduce right and all i have already explained in the previous videos with other functions it's very simple you can try that out and let me know if you are facing any issues and uh, let's say this count so this count usually I, I am just concentrating on the main functions which will be used in production when you are working with the scala code so let's say for this function you wanted to count how many uh, values are there for the give which satisfies the given condition so for that we can say like this okay and put it inside the println as i said this is scala worksheet actually println is not required but still just because you will understand very clearly so i'm using this println and if you see here it has given the value as one so let's say you change this value to banana and it will return two clear right and also we can change the uh, what to say values can have the duplicate values okay two things we have checked in the single statement and uh, also one more thing is uh, when you are checking right uh, for any if conditions we have to use uh, dot placeholder one for the key dot placeholder two for the value here banana is a value so i have used dot underscore two which is dot uh, placeholder two and uh, usually map starts with the zero index when you are using with the i and all right so it starts with the zero index okay so now let's see how to iterate through a map before that let's let's use some more functions okay quickly we have count we checked for all minimum for getting some add string some drop so here if you wanted to drop any of the key value pair you can use drop and it will drop that particular uh, number and it will give the remaining things if you see here it has printed b for banana and c for chiku 
but it has uh, dropped the first one which is a apple okay and then uh, we can use uh, is empty which is mainly used so drop two sequence we can convert this to sequence as well so two iterable values this is for getting it we'll see with a sa sample and a slice and all you have already explained this zip with uh, index is there right so this is usually used uh, for uh, giving the index numbers to the map values so this is usually used for um, picking up the values from the map for, and this is mainly used for uh, performance improvement okay some random numbers will be generated and it will be given to the to each of the map element and from there we can pick up the things i mean just for faster uh, retrieval we use that zip with index and uh, key is also same i will show you with the for example so here get is there no so here if you pass a it will give the apple some uh, and get of a right so this is an option class by default so because of that it has written sum of apple and uh, if uh, that uh, uh, key is not present then it will return none okay because this is option class either sum or none will be considered we will read about option class and all in the upcoming videos okay then get we have seen map and zip and all uh, this is get or else we have seen with the try sample here and take while i have already explained so equals are uh, usually used uh, for checking in the if conditions we can use it okay uh, yeah make string we will see um if uh, as of now if you see map is uh, uh the separator is comma right in the map here if you can see comma is the map and you don't want that and you want that in the uh, some other separator then you can use this one or in anything else if you add in the make string function it will uh, convert the it will use this separator whatever delimiter that i have passed in the make string that will be used as a uh, separator here and also it will be converted as a string the entire map will be converted to string with the delimiter that we are passing you got it right so earlier it was map but now it has uh, converted that map to string flattened uh, string string format with the um, colon delimited format okay so if you wanted to use some filter so in the filter we will say filter the keys let's say filter all the keys starting with x so it has only one so it has returned a of apple so this is how we can use the filter condition and then let's say we have another map well b map equal to we will take uh, with both strings and integers So if you see here we have taken integer string and also boolean value so now if i save this it will show the map of one second i have forgot to give the map that's why it has considered that as a normal tuple so immutable map uh, yeah if here immutable is you know i i'll explain that what is that so any and any because here multiple heterogeneous data types are, are used so instead of mentioning string or int it has taken that as any of any any type can be uh, available inside this map so that is the meaning of the map and also let's uh, have what is the c map let's create uh, what is a uh, i mean another kind of map i'll just show you okay and again i'll take this same one key and let's try to print this 
so if you see the output 1a b c 1d should be printed but whereas 1d and b c alone is printed under this map that is because as i said map takes only unique keys values can be duplicated but keys should be always unique so here we have with the same key two elements are available in the same map so this one it has overwrite this one and that's why we have only 1d is present in the output and bc clear right so in the map if you give any duplicate value in the key then it will consider the latest one like the last one and it will overwrite the all the previous duplicate keys this is about the basics of the map friends in the next video we will discuss about uh, how we can use this map in the scala code let's uh, in the production environment and also in which scenario we will use the map that we will see in the next video thank you for watching the video friends uh, please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learnings thank you